Hi friends, welcome to the video here for the zodiac sign of, let's see, which, which one am I on? Scorpio. I'm on the sign of Scorpio. Okay. There might be a shocker, surprise, somebody's rushing in and out, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. The judgment. It's some kind of day of, ju of judgment. Um, three of swords, heartbreak. There's someone who is annoyed at someone else. Emperor, Aries, energy. You're, tr you're wanting to reach out to someone here. You do have a connection to this person. The emperor can be power, father, father figure. This person seems preoccupied or distracted, maybe ignoring you. I feel like some of you are wanting to give them their space. But when you give them their space, it's upsetting for you. Um, this is all going to be over pretty soon because we have loyalty, but we just have a temporary problem. And you're coming up to the future energy of two of water. So you're going to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Maybe this is something upsetting that someone, like I said, there's um, an air sign or someone here who's giving an opinion and then someone is flying off the handle, getting quite upset. There could be someone telling you or someone else to stay calm, like you could be saying stay calm. Um, we do have the King of Wands, an Aries, a Leo, a Sag. Picking up the wand, taking action. Okay. Why is it upsetting for you as the Scorpio? Nine of Swords. Somebody told, tells you some discovery with the lamp shining on it, and it is a discovery with a final decision. And you feel like you should have had more or something like that. Like five of coin is, well, why wasn't I included? Or why wasn't I invited? Or um, why... It's a feeling of like, I'm left out in the cold. What is being left out in the cold? Okay. I don't, I feel like this is going to be fixed. You have a nine of cups. This is going to be fixed. Two tens, ten of swords, ten of wands. This is it. Somebody's at their limits with this. Like, I can't take any more. It's a lot. It's painful bottom of the deck there, there is like an offer coming in but bottom of the deck is the sun there is something here that will illuminate highlight leo energy secrets memories a water sign here um, determined to go forward star card healing letting go the death and the truth magician gemini somebody's trying to fix solve arrange Okay, so the main issue is power and control and wanting to be totally independent with the Nine of Pentacles. And this Nine of Pentacles is your energy. I am going to do something when I want to do it. And the person around you has made up their mind. They're waiting for 
the ship to arrive. Maybe they're waiting for you to arrive. So, three of swords, two of cups comes in. Storm warning. Wow, okay. There's going to be some kind of disruption, especially here. Queen of air, somebody rushes in. Um, la you know, wants to get a point across. And there's a discovery made. Somebody feels like they're not included. And then you're somebody satisfied that they're about satisfied with that. And you're nine of coin. You have everything you want and need. The angel of love. Uh, patience. Tempered emotions. Garden in the gate. This is all about achieving balance when something is very very stressful. Yin and yang. And then we have what's the yin and yang? Someone's prevented. Like they're prevented from taking any action. Uh, maybe somebody said no to them over something. The woman holding a coin. Wow, we got a cornucopia. There could be money involved. All right. The storm warning. Past energy affecting the present energy is that somebody blames someone else. They don't like them. Either you don't like them, they don't like you, whatever. And then the energy is like somebody gets really upset over something that maybe you say or you get up some upset over something they say. But you're in a nine of coin. You're like, well, I'm going to say and do what I want to do. So how does this? The sun card is under the, the clarifying. So let's see. How does this play out? It's very, very stressful. Uh, I keep seeing the ten of swords. What is this? The discovery. Virgo. Shining the lamp on something to expose it. Ten of Cups. Happiness or something about family. Two of Cups. A relationship between two people that's solid. That's in your future. Wow, you're look at how it fell. So there's a Nine of Swords. Ooh, with behind it a King of Swords. It's some information you find out. And other people are involved here. Three of coin and a tower. Wow. People made a decision in like a small group. You're going to be supporting someone emotionally. The Hierophant. A decision made by a higher authority. Nine of rods. Why is it five of coin? Okay. Alarming. And the ace of coin is here. It's not fast enough, I feel like. What is the five of coin? Emperor. Okay. This person is the issue. It could be an Aries. It could be somebody's left out in the cold. It's someone who you have memories with. Okay. This person's in a three of wands. They've made up their mind. They're following their passion. Here is this knight of swords. Somebody flies off the handle. We have... Tempered emotions, being patient with this person. There could be a Sagittarius. We have healing, release, letting go, four of wands. This is like um, considering whether something is worth it. Okay. How does this play out with the Nine of Swords? How does this play out? Page of Swords. Okay. It's something that is said to either you or another fire sign or water sign. There's some untrue statements or hidden information. It could be lies um, because it does come up with a five of coin. Like something is not enough. It's, it's insufficient. It's insufficient. There's just not enough. 
and queen of air this person said or someone told a person around this situation that this is not enough um they gave advice holding on there could have been some very cold individual <sighs> strength card nine of cups feeling satisfied with being strong and then somebody is up against some kind of organization and in this organization or government or ac academia there's a very mean person here five of swords they're not nice they harbor resentments towards other people okay so how this plays out is you get some information you find this out and it's just not the nicest news it's just not like it's a king of swords to a nine it's like I'm telling you maybe you have to tell someone like enough is enough or something there's five of cups there's ten of coin a lot is invested so maybe you feel guilty or you feel bad page of cups a water sign a page of fire there's a lot of um, animosity or betrayal between two people. This person is avoiding, ignoring. What's the energy of the nine? Yeah, nine of swords. Again, it's like it's very, very stressful. What this person says, king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or just someone who's very straightforward very factual we have leo energy too what are you wanting to put up with here why are you nine of rods because there's wisdom in the information a king of wands and a goddess it could be someone's mother and someone doesn't want to quit doesn't want to give up they might be someone who's having going through a health problem Magician and Three of Swords to the Hierophant. This could be a marriage, but it could also be something traditional. Um, a decision is made by a higher authority on ethics or something like that. A choice is made and someone doesn't want to make the choice. Two of Coin, Two of Four of Cups. Why are you supporting them? Two of Cups. The world. You feel like it's a graduation. It's something where everything's been done that can be done. Okay. Well, this is the reading. Thank you. I'll see you next time.